The Hartford community is mourning the death of a 56-year-old woman who was shot and killed right inside of her own home. She was cooking dinner at the time. Police say Sylvia Cordova died Wednesday when she was hit by a bullet that went through her window. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Aya Galil is live outside police headquarters. And Aya, this killing is reigniting calls for a federal assault weapons ban. Wendell and Nicole, that's right. And police say the bullet that struck and killed Sylvia Cordova came from an assault style rifle that's actually banned here in Connecticut. Police were able to recover that gun about 10 hours after that shooting. And 56 year old Sylvia Cordova, she was the unintended target of a drive by shooting. The Hartford community is heartbroken over the death of 56 year old Sylvia Cordova. How can you know? that you just killed someone innocent. Someone that was just minding their business. Those who knew Cordova say she was a great mom, sister, daughter, and person. Candles and balloons have been placed outside of the Sisson Avenue home where she was shot and killed. Investigators believe Cordova was the unintended victim and that someone else was targeted in the area over a dispute. The bullet that killed the mother came from an assault style rifle banned here in Connecticut. Hartford Mayor Luke Bronin is calling for a national ban on assault style style weapons. All weapons are dangerous. Every gun can take a life. But the power of these weapons is in a different order. And I think we saw that tragically. While assault weapons are illegal in Connecticut, experts say they make their way in through sales in other states. The nation has been flooded with these weapons, and it's no surprise that some of them end up in Connecticut. And investigators are going through surveillance video footage, hoping that could help them track down the killer. This is the 18th homicide in Hartford so far this year. Anyone with any tips or information should contact Hartford Police. Live in Hartford this morning, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.